All right, so as a lot of you have probably noticed, or if you're new to my channel, you will be noticing, um, I'm always on the go. I am constantly traveling and I've been spending less and less time at my home base in Montreal. And this video is just a different kind of video. It's not a vlog or it's not a motivational video. It's just to answer a question that everyone asks me all the time. And this is the question. Andy, uh, you leaving, are you going for business or for pleasure? And they kind of ask it sarcastically or like condescendingly, almost in like, they're trying to make me feel bad that I'm leaving. Because they always want to know like, oh, is it for business or are you going on vacation again? Because I'm always gone. So I'm always like, you know, both. But for all of you guys who are wondering or who hate the fact that I can travel and achieve all my work, this is for you. Most of you have seen that I have uh, a few different businesses and I'm setting everything up in a way where I don't need to be home. I don't need to be in an office at all times for these companies to run. Um, I did it for many, many years. I traveled strictly for business and um, the time that I wasn't traveling for work, I was in the office all the time. And honestly, I just got tired of that. And I finally told myself, I said, if I'm gonna have to be stuck in an office or stuck in meetings all the time, what's the point of having businesses or being successful or having any money if you can't actually enjoy it? And I'm not someone who enjoys being in the office. So I said, look, <laughs> either I sell everything or I do what I love, which is travel, see the world, and build companies. So I haven't mastered that yet, but I'm, I'm on my way, I'm on my way there. Every time I leave and I come back, it gets better, it gets better, and um, I'm trying to make business and pleasure one thing. Um, I don't think there's a point in living life if it's not a pleasure. Whatever you do for your work, is what is going to, I guess, pay the bills, it's gonna feed your kids, it's gonna get you the things that you want, whatever that may be. And that's cool, but why should you be trapped in an office doing something you hate? What do I need to work? Really, I just need my laptop and my cell phone. I don't need much else. Um, my companies aren't set up in a way where, you know, I make a phone call or I read a report and, uh, and I get everything I need. It's not like I have to be there watching over everybody. It actually just makes everyone work worse when I'm there hovering over them because I'm impatient and I know that things take time in business. So if I'm there just like twirling my, my thumbs and, and waiting for shit to happen, um, I just stress everyone out, including myself. So yeah, like when I'm, when I'm traveling, whether it's in LA, which I'm always at, or it's in Europe, or I'm going to a Formula One race because I like to plan trips around Formula One races that are around the world, um, it doesn't really matter where I am because the more I'm gone, uh, the more relaxed I am. I don't have the day-to-day -day going on. I'm not micromanaging anybody. I'm just kind of doing my own thing. And when I get to see the world or see other cultures, see other people, see how things work, I get to visit tons of different companies all around. I see how they do things and I feel inspired when I'm gone. Whether I'm looking at nature or different businesses or meeting different people, when I'm alone and just chilling, I'm inspired. And when I'm inspired, my brain goes at a thousand miles an hour way better than when I'm at home. The weather doesn't help at home, it's been really terrible. It's like raining all the time and the snow was really terrible this winter. So when I'm out there on my own doing my thing, I get inspired, I take all my notes. Um, I, I talk to my key guys in Montreal every single day, whether it's on Slack or on email, text, phone calls. I do all of that stuff anyway. So I don't really have to be there. And um, yeah, when I come back home, that's when I set up my meetings, I make sure that everything is going smoothly, the companies are moving in the right directions, everyone has hit their goals and blah blah blah, whatever. The boring stuff. So yeah, it's really like all the time when I'm home, that's what I'm up to. And when I'm gone, I get to see the world, I get inspired, I get to meet other people, I can go on sales trips, um, I can come up with different things, I meet people who have ideas. I'm constantly networking, I'm building teams wherever I go. Yeah, I talk about my different brands and there's a limitless potential when I'm gone. Because what I'm good at is selling the dream. And if I meet someone and we click, that's a customer for life or it's a friend for life, it's a supplier for life, it's whatever it is. Those are the kind of people that I go out, I meet and then we immediately start to work together. And it's the beginning of a wonderful relationship. That's what I'm good at, I build relationships I like to go out, I like to talk to people, and um, 
yeah, I get the, sh it's the freedom to do whatever I want. It also doesn't affect any of the businesses. Yeah, and I'm not criticizing the way other people do things. I'm just doing what works for me. Doesn't mean it, it works for you. I know that what, there was nothing really wrong with what I was doing before. It was very standard, but that's not how I work. That's not how I like to do things. And most people say it's really hard to change. It is hard. You gotta, you know, take a risk and move things around. The way my business was a couple years ago, there's no way we could be gone. But I knew that no matter what, I didn't want to be the guy that everyone had to rely on. And I don't think any business should run that way. If I am not able to leave my business without it running, there's a problem. If the purchaser or one of the engineers or somebody important, even somebody not important, anyone in the company is not there for two weeks or if they die, your company should be able to run flawlessly. That's how you properly set up a company. So all I really did was with my team, we made sure that if I'm gone, if my brother who's my partner is gone, if whoever is gone, things can run smoothly. It's like a turnkey operation. And I think every business should be set up that way. If you can't leave and go enjoy your life for a little bit without shit hitting the fan at the office, something's wrong, something is missing. I know so many people who are slaves to their businesses. It's great, they have companies, they make tons of money, but they're there all day long, every day, and they never actually get to enjoy the fruits of their labor, you know? They do a small vacation every now and then, and even then they're on the phone and whatever. That's not really living for me. If it works for you, no problem, but I wanna visit every continent. I want to learn different cultures. I wanna see how things work elsewhere. I wanna visit other businesses and other companies, see how they run so that I can come back home and implement different things and try new things. That's what I've been doing and uh, yeah. So next time you ask me if it's for business or pleasure, if you've seen this video, don't, don't ask me. But yeah, now you know. When I leave, I can leave for a few days and come back with nothing or I can leave for a few days and come back with the craziest ideas ever. It really depends. I'm trying to build my life in a way where business and pleasure are the same thing and they can both coexist very organically together. If you see me on Instagram or Snapchat and I'm chilling at the beach, chances are that while I'm there in my zen, I'm coming up with some pretty cool stuff and I'm usually hanging out with this notebook and writing down all the cool stuff that comes to my head because I do get really, really inspired when I'm gone. Um, I know a lot of people say that they, aren't, they aren't able to just pack up and leave for a couple of days, but yeah, with, with Airbnb and stuff, like it makes it a lot easier, a lot cheaper to travel. If you can get away for a couple of days and just relax, you really come back feeling super refreshed. You get different ideas, you get different, you see the way life is in other places in the world and it kind of makes you think. It's like, is what I'm doing right? And that's what happened to me. I, I was saying like, is this it? Is this really it? Or can I improve? Can my life improve? And I do that honestly every day. I ask, is this it? Is this the best that it can be? No, damn right it's not. How can we make it better? And I just do that all the time. So ask yourself those questions and, um, and yeah, maybe you'll start to think like me or maybe you think I'm just a brat, who knows? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna end this because I don't really have anything else to say. It's the first time I didn't like write my notes before a video, so I think it's gonna be a little bit of a mess. But honestly, I don't care. I needed to put out some content, and this was an issue that I thought needed to be addressed. So yeah, am I traveling for business, or am I traveling for pleasure?